Hello, you've made it to the end. Congratulations. Welcome to lesson five. Let's review some of the lessons we've gone through in this unit. First, we started with questions, talking about the order in which we make a question and how the verb rarely comes first. Generally speaking, we have an object, subject, and then a verb, or a subject, a verb, and then an object. Um, we also talked about the different kinds of question words that we use and what kinds of answers are required. So for a do question, usually it's yes or no. Do you like the new computers? Yes, I do, or no, I don't. Or for which questions, which computer do you like, this one or that one? Where questions, where are you going later? A location, I'm going to the grocery store. Um, when we have small talk at work, it's good to have small talk that is light, general, and professional. For example, how's your wife doing? Are the kids settling in, at their new school? How are the pets? That sort of thing. Uh, if you need to ask for clarification, you can say, sorry, excuse me, pardon me. Could you repeat that, please? Great. Also, in chapter two, we talked about past tense and how for most regular verbs, we can add an ED to the end to create the past tense version. So she phoned, she messaged, she called. These are regular verbs. For our different irregular verbs, they have their own form. He bought a new computer. Okay. Buy and bought. Uh, we also have, um, she said to go to the store. So said is not ed, it's id. Um, that's a y rule. And um, we also talked about leaving the verb the same for negatives. Okay. And changing it for our affirmatives. Uh, we talked about some auxiliary verbs like do, have, and be, and how they help the verb give us more information. We also talked about more question words you might run into and what kinds of answers they're going to give you. Where is the location? When is the time? What time is the time? More specific. Um, when might be in the morning or something like that. Who is a person? Why is a reason? And sometimes it says because. How much is a number or a dollar amount? And how are directions? First you do this, then you do this. Then we talked about adverbs, how they come before the main verb uh, and after the verb for verbs like is, am, and are. They come between the auxiliary and the main verb for negative sentences. We talked about open body language. It's okay to talk to me, I'm not busy, and closed body language. Turning away from the desk, using your body to send messages about whether you're too busy to talk, you're stressed out, or you're open for conversation. We also talked about the role of venting in the workplace and how your response to that role should be empathy and good listening if you have time and energy. Uh, in this chapter, we talked about British dates and how they go from smallest to largest, day being the smallest, month medium, a year is the largest, um, and American dates just being month, day, year. Uh, we also talked about phone numbers and how zero could be O, and double zero could be double O. Uh, we also talked about email conversations and email language. So dash slash at dot com underscore and dot. We did a great job. Thank you everyone for joining me. It's been a blast. Thank you so much and good luck.